Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for Mac. One of the huge benefits of El Capitan is the addition of extensions that allow one application to pass information to another. In episode 524, I demonstrated using extensions in the new Photos app, allowing me to edit and enhance photos using an application called Noiseless without leaving the Photos app itself. I also mentioned a great new suite of apps being launched that offered a comprehensive range of tools for photo editing that could also be used with Photoshop, Lightroom, Aperture, and as extensions in Photos. Now that suite was Creative Kit 2016 by MacFun, and Creative Kit 2016 is now available, and a ton of Screencast Online viewers took advantage of the special pre-order offer and snagged a copy. And by the way, thanks to all those that use the affiliate link to support Screencast Online, I really appreciate it. Now as promised, I said we'd cover all the Creative Kit 2016 apps as soon as possible, so for this week I asked Alison Sheridan to do a deep dive into one of the apps, and that's Intensify CK. Now by the way, the pre-order offer is now closed, but they're still selling the suite of apps at a special launch price with some extra goodies until the 15th of November. Just use the link screencastonline.com slash macfun to find out more. Now in the meantime, here's Alison with a rundown on some of the features of Intensify CK. Creative Kit 2016 contains six separate tools. There's Intensify, Photo FX, Snap Heal, Tonality, Focus, and Noiseless. The way we're going to approach this is to do a deep dive into Intensify as an extension to Apple Photos. This sort of brackets the problem for us a little bit. We're going to do that this week, and in a couple of weeks, I'm going to come back and show you the rest of the extensions, and they have fairly similar interfaces, so it'll be easier to understand a whole bunch of them after you understand the basics using Intensify. Don already created a video explaining how to install these extensions, so I'm not going to go through that, and that's going to let us go straight into looking at Intensify as part of Creative Kit 2016 from Mac Fun. I've opened up photos, and we're going to start in an album of photos from when we went to Agra and the Taj Mahal with Don. Let me go ahead and open this image, and I'm going to hit Edit. And then I'm going to go down to Extensions like Don taught us and go to Intensify CK. You'll notice that we are still inside Photos, but you can tell from the banner here that we're in Intensify CK. Across the top, we have some viewing options. I can immediately zoom to 100% resolution. I can zoom in even more. I can zoom out, or I can go back to full screen with this button right here. I can also set specific zoom resolutions. I can go, say, to 200% with one click of a button and get all the way back out with my full screen button. I can also use two fingers on my trackpad to zoom and pinch back out. And if you're using a regular mouse, you can use the scroll wheel to do zoom to pinch in and out as well. Now we're going to skip over some of the controls up here and come back to those. On our right sidebar, we have several presets, and I actually want to fold these up so you see how many preset categories we have, and then we'll take a look at them. So we've got architecture, black and white, creative, detail enhancement, image tune, landscape, and soft. And within each one of these, we have multiple presets. Obviously, I am not going to go through each one of these, but let's go down and go through some that might be kind of interesting. Let's see, let's look at Vivid. When I tap on the control, you can see I immediately get a change to my image. This eyeball right here, if you press, you get a quick preview to see what your original image looks like. And when you let go, it goes back to your enhanced image. If you don't like the preset that you've just selected, you can hit reset to go back to where you started. Let's go take a look at, maybe we'll look at a black and white preset. How about dramatic black and white? And there you can see it immediately changes. I can change the effect percentage as well. So that's at 100%. What if we only wanted to apply it a little bit? That gives it kind of an interesting ethereal effect. You'll notice that when I went down to 51% here, it actually changed the layer to say 51%. Like I said, we're going to come back to layers, but I thought that was interesting that all you're really doing is changing the percentage that that layer is being affected. We can also choose to make things favorites. So if I click on the little star here, and right here, we were in the default presets. If I go to favorites, I can see my default preset. If I go back to defaults and I uncheck that, 
and I go back to favorites, it's gone. So far, we've just been looking at presets, and this is a great way to get started. But we also have some very advanced controls over under adjust. To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14 day no obligation free trial screencasts online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14 day free trial membership.